Hello dear students. In the previous lecture, we had learnt about definition of glass, its classification and its manufacturing process. In this lecture, let us learn about different types of glasses and their composition and uses. You know that the properties of the material depends on its composition. The same thing is applicable for glass also. Many desirable properties can be obtained by adding other substances along with main raw materials during the manufacturing process of glass. Let us learn about the different types of glasses one by one. The first one is very much familiar to you. This glass is used for making all kind of containers, bottles, window panes, etc. Yes, it is soda lime glass. This is also known as soft glass as it softens at comparatively lower temperature and can be shaped into different forms. The main constituents of this glass are silica about 75%, sodium oxide 13 to 16%, calcium oxide 10 to 13%. It is easily fusible and resistant to devitrification. Devitrification means it is a process by which glassy substances change their structure into that of crystalline so that it loses its glassy appearance and becomes opaque. This glass resists such devitrification process. It is relatively inexpensive, chemically stable and extremely workable. It is ideal for glass recycling because it can be re-softened and remelted many times. The next one is lead glass also known as flint glass. It is prepared by fusing lead oxide, potassium carbonate and silica in proper proportions. The percent composition of different constituents is like this. Among them silica and lead oxide forms major constituents. Due to the presence of heavy metal lead this glass is having high refractive index, high dispersion, high air density. It has high softening point and cuts off harmful UV radiation. Hence, it is used for radiation shielding. And this glass is resistant to devitrification. It is used for making optical instruments such as lenses, prisms, etc. and also for ornamental purposes. Since the manufacture and disposal of these glasses were sources of pollution, in many modern flint glasses, lead oxides are replaced with other metal oxides such as titanium dioxide and zirconium dioxide without significantly altering the optical properties of the glass. Now let us know about safety glass. This glass is obtained by placing a layer of transparent plastic between two layers of glass like this see here two layers of glass are here there and 
the middle one that is the transparent plastic layer that is interlayer then the glass and plastic are pressed together tightly by the action of heat and pressure then the edges are sealed with a waterproof adhesive this is called safety glass or unbreakable glass because it does not break easily under ordinary impact however it does break under heavy impact but the glass pieces do not fly and cause injury because they are held by the plastic hence it is shatterproof this glass is capable of withstanding thermal and mechanical shocks it is used for the manufacture of doors and window shields of automobiles aeroplanes ships and furnaces the next one is the most familiar and you use them regularly in your labs yes it is borosilicate glass the major constituents are silica up to 80% and boron trioxide 10 to 12% and rest are minor constituents since it has low coefficient of expansion and high softening temperature and it is resistant to chemical attack it is used in laboratory glassware's baking dishes high tension insulator and washers the next one is colored glass these glasses are obtained by the addition of appropriate amount of coloring agent to the batch during manufacturing process of glass different transition metal oxides such as manganese dioxide selenium oxide cupric oxide etc are added to obtain colored glasses like this the color is due to the precipitation of colloidal particles within the colorless glass as a result of heat treatment these glasses are used for decoration technical and scientific purposes traffic lights lantern globes etc now let's move on to the next type of glass that is armored glass more commonly known as bulletproof glass this is a strong and optically transparent material and is particularly resistant to penetration of projectiles such as bullet this is made from alternating layers of glass and plastic as shown in this picture see here there is a alternating layers of glass and pvb that is polyvinyl butyryl and sometime there is there will be a inner layer of polycarbonate which is a tough type of plastic this sandwich of layers is called a laminate more the layers more the protection the glass offers let us understand how this glass works when a bullet strikes an ordinary glass like this it pierces through the glass but when a bullet strikes a bullet proof glass its energy 
spread out sideways through the layers because the energy is divided and spread over a large area and it is quickly absorbed the bullet slows down so much that it no longer has enough energy to pierce through or to do much damage although the glass panes do break the plastic layers stop them from flying apart hence it is also a shatterproof glass and it is used in windows of jewelry stores embassies and in military and private vehicles which require much security the next one is photosensitive glass the name itself suggests it is sensitive to light particularly uv light it is a potash alumina glass mixed with lithium silicate cerium and silver salts in appropriate proportions it is like traditional camera film it contains microscopic metallic particles that will respond to the action of light so that it leads to the development of image in the glass like this it was used by military force during second world war for sending secret messages and it is used in printing processes also the final one is fluorosilicate glass this glass mainly comprises of fluorine silicon and oxygen since this material has a small relative dielectric constant it is used in between copper metal layers during silicon chip fabrication process when molten fluorosilicate glass is cooled carefully crystalline or semi crystalline solids of fluorosilicate glass ceramics can be obtained these have good mechanical and chemical properties these are only few examples still there are many different types of glasses with plenty of applications the life without the use of glass is highly unimaginable this is how the glass has become the part and parcel of our life this completes the first chapter glass and in our next class let us study about another important inorganic material ceramics thank you